Okay, traders, today is Monday, February 14th, 2011, and we're going to hold a class on the indices. If you look at the chart before you, it is of the Russell. The Russell Index, and look at that beautiful flag. Traders, flags are flying all over our indexes. They look very strong right here. I do not think it's going to stop. If you'll recognize this, we are now above this hurdle, which would have maybe been construed as a double top or an inverted head and shoulders. We've gotten past that hurdle. And what we're starting to turn into now is something different. We're starting to get a little bit of a parallel channel in this direction, which we'll begin to build. I think it's actually up here more. You can probably do it like this, but we'll see. I'm going to let that build before I call it what it is. But I think that that's the actual channel right there, and we should end up up here. Talking 839, 840 in the Russell. The other thing that we know about the Russell is for quite some time it's been in a very, very nice channel and it's probably going to stay in that channel. And that channel is pointing in one direction and that direction is not lower. So the whole thing is in a smart channel moving higher. Now we've created a secondary channel within that channel and we just broke out of a well-defined bull flag. Nothing bearish at all in the Russell index. Nothing whatsoever. That is a bullish picture from any angle that you care to view. Any argument there in the Russell? No argument, right? Looks solid, strong, one of our industry leaders. Another one of our leaders. This Dow Jones Transportation Average, the infamous chart that we've seen many times now. Um, again, traders, the whole purpose behind this lesson was to show you that this was no joke, that repetitive patterns like this one here happen over and over again, and then when you see a diamond and the result of that diamond go into another continuation pattern with another diamond, the result should be the same. And how close is this to what happened here? It's almost an identical move. So we know that we are bullish in our, in our transportation average. It too is in a huge channel. The channel is defined right up here. Let me see if I can do something with it. This channel is defined right here. It goes all the way back to the 9th of March, 2009. This red channel from here to here. So we're inside of that channel and then of course inside of a secondary channel within that channel, which starts a little bit lower and then works its way up. Next channel that we're in is this one. So you have two major channels. This one on the outside, consider it like Bollinger Bands, an outside band and an inside band that we've stayed in smartly for this entire year or all of last year almost and most of this year. So I think that we get to the top of that channel and another very strong bullish leader, the Dow Jones Transportation Average. NASDAQ. Bull flag, breakout out of the bull flag, looking fantastic inside of its long-term parallel channel in blue here. The bull flag it broke out of. Now, of course, like the other indices, what you are developing is a parallel channel heading north. And I'm sure that we stay within this channel and just continue to watch it grow. Right now, the channel is here. I'm assuming the channel grows out to here very shortly and we watch it move higher, but let's put the channel where it belongs at this moment and allow it to grow and not us to tell it that it's going to grow. So we now have this channel, which gives us plenty of room to move higher in NASDAQ. 2413 should be minimum move on here. <clears throat> Again, it's not the only flag. You see the channel? Well, let's remove the channel. And let's show you that we also put in a small but still significant flag right here. This area is considered a small flag. Your pole, of course, would be these days right here. Just like the Russell, we just broke out of another bull flag. So I like the bull flag here, just like I like the bull flag that I showed you in the Russell. And I believe you're going to find it everywhere. S&P. Look at that flag. 
undeniably shaped, formed, ready to go. It did blow out. Then when you look at the channel that we're in, you'll see that we're smartly in a well-defined channel pointing straight up north. I don't care what you read in the newspapers or what's being said or what country may default on their bonds. That's a bull in a bull move establishing a new parallel channel to move inside of. And it does not matter what the naysayers think. The analysis is what's important. Out of a bull flag into a secondary channel within the primary channel. Looks pretty smart, right traders? Nothing here would tell us anything other than this market looks strong. This bull flag, by the way, can very easily have been drawn to look a little cuter, but you know, I figured it does its job, no sense, but you could have easily done the bull flag like this, which makes it look even more so like a bull flag. See it right there? It's even smarter looking that way. Um, these two lows sort of can be connected. There you go. So even no matter how you want to draw up that bull flag, that's about as bullish of a bull flag as you're going to find in a quickly moving bull market. Then we head over to Germany, the new soon to be proud owners of the stock market here in the United States. I don't even understand how I can make the statement, but there it is. Okay, a bull flag here starts the game off. Let's make it red, although it should be green, but we'll make it red so it matches its pole. We start the game with a bull flag. We rally into a continuation pattern, into a secondary continuation pattern, into a bull flag, into a breakout inside of a larger parallel channel. Channel's been shifted. Let me put it back where it belongs. It belongs up here. In this. So there's your channel. And there is your easy to spot continuation patterns. And then there's your bull flag. And then there's your breakout. No question whether Germany wants to come along for the ride. FTSE. These people are thinking about raising rates soon. FTSE comes out of what I thought was being constructed as a bull flag. I don't know exactly for sure. I guess it is. The other ones were. It's not as symmetrical. You know, I like them to be slightly more symmetrical, whereas this bottom line matches the top one. So we'd have to kind of go like this to make that happen. But all in all, that's your bull flag. I don't, I don't think that I'm stretching my imagination here when I call out a bull flag. And here's your breakout. Inside of a larger parallel channel and now creating, as the other indices are, a parallel, secondary parallel channel taking us higher. This is technical analysis 101 traders. Anyone in my premium room right now should absolutely have the capability of spotting this stuff with nothing more than a confirmation from me. This is not intricate. We're not even looking at indicators. We're not doing intermarket analysis, intramarket analysis. We're looking at simple hardcore price structure. Is it trending higher or lower? Is it creating repetitive bullish patterns? If so, will they repeat themselves? The answer is yes on all of those previous questions. We are in a bull market. We are creating repetitive bullish patterns. Yes, this thing moves higher. So that's my view on the indices. I think that they're looking pretty sharp. Let's go to bonds. Now, this is a mess, traders. I kid you not. This is not how I normally do my analysis. These lines are too big and too fat and too ugly for me. But... At the same token, this is a band of resistance that we are going to find. Right inside this area, there's a band of resistance. And I think that that will be a great area if, in fact, we get lucky enough to sell more bonds. Now, I don't think we'll ever go as high as the top of this blue square. I think we stay inside of a rectangle right here. So what should happen here is the completion of the bear flag that's being completed somewhere right into here. Then your turnarounds begin. Why do I think that? Well, here's why. This is what I think is going on right now. I think you're simply just building your bear flag. And let's remove extensions and change some colors to not be confusing here. I think that we are building a bear flag, and I think the bear flag has a pole right here, and that's the flag in red. 
And I think that we will all be quite happy. In fact, this box, make it history. This right here, traders, is the bottom of the previous bear flag. It's got merit, it's got meaning, it's your first resistance hurdle level, which you got above, or you should get above tomorrow, at least get into it. Remember, this bar is fictitious. This bar has not happened. Tomorrow's bar should get us up in here. Now, the bear flag is either going to tighten up right now and stay this, or it's going to stay the way it is, the bigger one. Either way, you're in bear flags, you're going to run into resistance, and you're going to fall back down. And what you should find is at some point, here's where we go next. So these question marks are not question marks, it is a bear flag. So here's what I think happens next. Fill out the bear flag, whether it's this one or this one, doesn't make a difference to me. It's probably going to be that one, but we gotta give it breathing room. So we'll call it this for now, and then we'll move it down as it shows us it's moving down. But that's where I think we are in bonds. I do not think we have a fear that they are going to take off on us anytime soon. If they didn't take off during Egypt, they're not going anywhere now. And again, I do not expect this bear flag to go up this far, so don't let that scare you either. Bear flag ends right about here. That should be your bear flag and the extent of the move. On the weekly in bonds, nothing changes the picture at all whatsoever. Target and bonds remain the same. Now, traders, remember I drew in these red bars and I told you that according to the homework I do, we should fill in areas that look like this. What's happened so far? Look at this week's bar. So it went exactly where we thought it should. Don't worry about it. That's what we have mapped out. It's what we think will happen. Sit tight and watch it happen. That's what you do in, in a long-term trade. So I think that this will fill in just as I expected, and then we fall off our cliff. This is a weekly bear flag. Look, if I'm right, it's a weekly bear flag either this way or you can call it a pennant, which would be this. Either way, this is what I expect will happen and then more downside comes our way. That's why I drew those bars in. That is where I expect this market to go. So far, as you've seen when I popped up that chart, it was almost exact. Analysis, if done well, has its uncanny way of allowing you to post in tomorrow's bar and be accurate crazy as that sounds. So there we are, traders. You've seen the flags in many, many of these indice charts. The flags are not going away. We are breaking out of them now. Whatever formation will be the flavor of the week next week, we'll deal with it. But as you see, this is working really, really well in our favor. This is your weekly Russell now instead of your daily. Again, look at the channel. This is the same channel that was sitting on the daily. I can just now apply it to the weekly. And it's the same. Great, great market. This looks like an Andrew's pitchfork right here. Well drawn, but it's not a pitchfork. It just, the market forms itself around it. So very, very strong looking market in the weekly, as well as the daily and all of our indices. Again, the flags, remember, that these flags are flying high. They are all over our indice charts and we must respect them. When you see the flag, respect the flag. Just like the US flag, baby. When you see it, respect it because it's going to work for you. Okay, traders, thank you so much for coming to today's class. I hope these classes are helping to keep you stay in tune with the larger picture here. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.